Ryan, how would you evaluate CJ? It doesn't look like that we could rest. It seemed to help. Yeah, I thought so. I thought uh, it showed during the week, um, and, and who knows? Maybe, maybe it gave him a little perspective too. Um, watching uh, the game last week, watching uh, meetings, watching practice, um, we'll see. You know, but but he did play better tonight, and um, still got a lot of football ahead of us. But uh, it was encouraging to see him play the way he did. Right next door, Bill. Ryan, um, when the, on the near an exception that CJ threw, it looked like you were telling him you wanted to come back to Jeremy there on that inbreaking route, you were holding up the number one out. <laughs> then he comes back and he throws a touchdown to Chris on the next play. I'm just wondering. How you coach that? Because I mean, he made a mistake, and then he made it maybe one of the better plays he's made all year. So like, yeah. how do you balance that? Um, yeah, without getting into too many specifics, um, that was not the right read. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but then he came back, and, and I thought he showed some toughness. And, and the, our message all week has been toughness. And you know, how does a quarterback show toughness? You know, he avoids a rush and then makes a play like that. Um, I, I thought there were times where you know he. he uh, we were down on the goal line there. The ball popped out. You know, it's the first time we've really got a live ball on the one yard line for Luke Whipler, the quarterback for for everybody. He kind of salvaged that and um, and you know got back on the ball. And then he took a hit on the, the touchdown pass to Jeremy Ruckert. And so I, I thought there was some toughness shown there, which which was good. Uh, but but overall, I thought our team played with more toughness than we have in the past. And um, this was uh, an important game for us because I felt like um, you know September second, a month ago, you know. When we played Minnesota, we were a much different team, and, and I felt like that uh, going into this week, but we hadn't shown it yet, and um, I felt like we saw some glimpses of that tonight. Uh, Bill Rabinowitz. Yes, yeah, but but I also think that when you look at Ronnie Hickman, when you look at Cam Martinez, when you look at Jackson Smith, Jigba, C.J. Stroud, uh, Travion Henderson. Um, some of these guys, uh, Cody Simon, um, Tommy Eichenberg, these are all guys who had zero starts in their entire career. Well, they're, they're not young anymore. Now they have, um, you know, five games under their belt, so that they're not young anymore. They're they're not uh, inexperienced. They do have games under their belt. So now we know what to expect. We also know, you know, what guys can give us meaningful minutes behind them, and then who needs to continue to work hard to get to where they need to be to become uh, a contributor and, and, and create a role for themselves. Um, we just didn't have that last year. You know, a game like this allows a bunch of guys to get on the field and uh, all, all meaningful stuff. Uh, Clay? Both of your Big Ten wins are on the road. Do you feel like you have a leg up in that sense? Uh, it, it's good to get those two wins for sure, yeah. Um, you know, with, with a young team, the way that this first half of the um, – the schedule played out. It's just what it was. You know, we had to handle it. I think it made it str- made us stronger, though. I, I think it, it has. You know, going on the road, and um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, handle, handling a loss, you know, in second game of the year, and, and those type of things has made us stronger. And, and I think we can continue to build on this. And that's been the whole goal: um, is if we just get better week in and week out, continue to get these guys reps, keep coaching better, and giving our guys the better opportunity to be successful. Then hopefully, when we, you know, pick our head up here in about a month where we need to be going into November. Uh, right behind him, Nathan Baird. You kind of transitioned from just looking for defensive players who could you know, get the job done. So now you got these young guys who are out there actually making plays. You know, right. Like, How is that sort of changing just, I guess, the whole vibe around the team, the confidence of the whole team? Yeah, I think you can see that. I mean, yeah, I, it, it's just a bunch of guys who are now are maybe expecting to make plays before. You know, I don't think they really. They were just trying to get lined up, and everything they were doing was for the first time. So um, I thought um, you know, the defensive staff did a good job this week with the plan. I thought they mixed up the looks. I thought we created disruption in the backfield, and then we were able to create some turnovers. I thought the, you know, you have to play well early in conference games like this, especially on the road, to hopefully take the, the crowd out of it. And I thought the play that uh, Cam Martinez uh, made was, was a big play. And then a couple plays later, we scored the touchdown with, with Travion, and that kind of got us going. Um, obviously, the pick by Denzel was big. Um, you know, overall, though, the special teams, uh, you know, Greg does a great job, excuse me, with special teams. And so Parker Fleming, I thought, had a really good week of work preparation wise, got our guys locked in. And, um, you know, overall, we were prepared to play this game on special teams. So I, I, hats off to him and, and the guys. And, and Cam showed up in that spot right there, which was big. All right there in the front row, Dan Holt. Yeah, Ryan, you had said a couple weeks ago, and people were asking a lot of questions about the quarterbacks, but what you had seen from CJ in practice, and how that gave yep. you a lot of confidence in. Was what we saw from CJ today more of what you would see from CJ in practice? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Um, this is, you know, this is what he's capable of, and uh, now he's got to bring it. Though he's got to be consistent. Still, a lot of things you're gonna we're gonna watch on film tomorrow and got to get corrected and got to get fixed, and you know, we got to come back and do it again next week because now, you know, there's a body of work on film. So now guys are gonna look at him and, and try to attack him different ways, and he's gonna have to have answers, and and that's playing in the Big Ten. So, um, but you can see what he's capable of. Uh, Clay Hall, Mitch Rossi. Did you make him a star today? Uh, Mitch, 
Mitch, Mitch has done uh, nothing but everything we've asked him to do. I mean, he just, he's just um, he, he's a very tough young man. He works really, really hard. And, um, you know, he deserves every everything that he's getting because, um, you know, he's the – He's the quarterback of the punt team. Um, he does all those jobs. You know, he will play fullback in the goal line and those type of things. Uh, all those thankless jobs. And I'm glad we have him. Um, he's, um, you know, one of the more reliable guys on our on our team. And it's good to see some of those tight ends, you know, get some touches. Jeremy had a nice day coming back home, which was great, get a touchdown. Uh, and I also thought it was really good to see all the receivers get, um, you know, get their hands on some balls as well. You know, Chris Olave, I think, tied Chris Carter today for uh, touchdown catches. You know, he didn't really get the ball much the last couple of weeks. He stayed with it, you know, and that's not easy. You know, and we, maybe we're not getting touches like that and uh, didn't play much in the second half. But when he was in there, you know, he made an impact, which was great. And uh, saw some other guys make some plays. But it was good to see Mitch get in there and make, make a couple uh, plays for us. Uh, second row, Rob Allard. Uh, Trivion, you look like you got dinged. But what's the update there? This is such a different Lakers. Just talk about what he does for the offense that maybe not the other guys don't. But yeah. He's a well, yeah, I mean, he's, he's got a different skill set than the other guys. I do think Master ran hard again today, and uh, Marcus Crowley ran hard today. But, um, but you can see the home run ability for Trey. And he's still young, still learning, but, uh, but he does have a, a ton of uh, home run ability. Um, it was my decision to hold him out in the second half. He was ready to go. Um, I, just, I just felt like I didn't want to take a chance going into that second half. Well, over here, Steven Means. Brian, again with Caesar, whether it was maybe a week off with the shoulder, just maybe some of the play calls you were calling, just you know, spreading the ball out. He just seemed more comfortable. I mean, I think it was the most comfortable he's looked, uh, but at the same time, uh, he's still really, really young and still, still green in this whole thing. And he's got a lot of football ahead of him. He's going to have good times and good plays and bad, bad plays. Um, but he didn't, like you said, he didn't get rattled. Like, you know, he had a couple plays that maybe didn't go his way, but then he came right back and continued to make plays. But, but I think it, it really um, goes to the preparation we had this week. And, you know, he's got good players around him. He's got a good offensive line. These guys did a good job of giving him time back there. He wasn't really pressured all that much. And the receivers made big plays. You know, even the one uh, catch, you know, I think it was the first play of the drive. Uh, Chris, you know, catches the ball and kind of toe taps on the sideline. An unbelievable play. And then that gets us going. But those are the kind of things that, that help a quarterback when he tries to get, you know, his rhythm going during the game. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and the touchdown to Chris on on the, the the other one that was that was an off like you said off schedule play. Um, you know he kind of created worked the second part of the route, and that's good. I mean that's that's part of the game, and um, you know I think yeah this is probably the best game he's done that. And we got time for just a couple more. Uh, Tony Gerdman. Right, aside from the uh, getting better physically, how did you see CJ put that? Uh, I you know I, I don't know I, I think that uh, you know he, he's more healthy and uh, he, he came in really really well prepared um, and, and the guys around him helped him too but um, and, and you know when the defense is playing the way it is and you know you just you just play with more confidence and I thought we played better team football today but um, again maybe it gave a little bit of perspective coming back I don't know but uh, good preparation this week and final question Rob go ahead how much is patience a part of this what is a coaching Ooh. staff do you just I mean you guys kind of maybe on Uh, well, in an area where there, patience is not allowed, you know, and, and I think that, but but I, I understand that, and I know that, and have you know a bunch of talks with a lot of people, and one of them is Gene Smith, and he said just just that right there, you know, you have to be patient, you know, you have to continue to, you know, work some of these younger guys in, and this is a unique team, and you have to, you know, we're doing things the right way, and we know that we're recruiting great people, um, you know, we're a first class operation, always do things the right way, and. You know, there's times where you have to grow through some some growing pains along the way, and we're not going to panic. Um, certainly, we have to act when appropriate, but we're not going to overreact, um, and we just continue to get better. And that's that's the plan here. And when you're doing when you're doing that, then you know you can go, put your your head on your pillow at night, knowing you're doing the right things. And uh, having a win like this, um, you know. Of, of the last month, it's given us a little bit of juice now as we head into the next month of October. Like, okay, there was some tough times here, but we grew through it. We, we didn't panic. And uh, and now we might have a good team as we head into the, you know, into October and November. Great. Coach, thank you very yep. much. Thanks, guys. All right.